This tutorial will demonstrate how to do a search in the Physiotherapy Evidence Database, otherwise known as PEDRO, to find the highest levels of evidence. It was developed by the Physiotherapy Association of British Columbia for PABC members and for members of the Ontario Physiotherapy Association. In the previous tutorial, we looked at different levels of evidence and why they are important to know. Understanding the type of research study you are looking for can help your search in a database. Suppose you have a physiotherapy question and you want an answer from the literature. We can review the steps in evidence-informed practice that have been demonstrated in the first series of tutorials. Step 1 is asking a clinical question using PICO. Step 2 is finding the evidence. We have explored various databases that can be used for physiotherapy searches and how to use different search terms. We will now explore one important database for physiotherapy called the Physiotherapy Evidence Database, otherwise known as PEDRO, and use it to find the highest levels of evidence that we learned from Part 1 of this tutorial. PEDRO is a free database with 17,000 citations to physiotherapy journal articles. It contains only randomized control trials, systematic reviews, and clinical practice guidelines in physiotherapy. These studies are considered the highest levels of evidence. PEDRO does not include other types of studies, such as case studies or narrative reviews, but they can be found in other databases such as PubMed or Medline. PEDRO is a handy database to use because it is focused on physiotherapy. It contains only the higher levels of evidence and also because it rates the quality of randomized control trial research. Let's take a look at tennis elbow as an example of a research question. We'll start with this clinical question. Is lower level laser effective for improving function in patients with tennis elbow? We have worked out search terms to use in a literature search. Now let's go to Pedro and try a simple search. The URL to Pedro can be located on the top center of this slide. For the purposes of this tutorial, we will only do a simple search. However, Pedro has a lot more features you can explore on your own, and you can do so by using the search help page found underneath the English tab. First, let's type tennis elbow laser into the search bar. You can do so by locating the simple search button found on the top left hand corner of your page. After typing in tennis elbow laser, you can proceed by clicking search. Now take a look at the results. There are some systematic reviews and some clinical trials. The clinical trials have a score with a higher number indicating a better quality trial. Let's take a look at the first record. Do so by clicking on the title. Read the abstract to see if you'd like to get the article. Is it available for free on the internet? Let's take a look. You can read the full text of this article on the web because it is in a journal that is freely available online called Biomed Central Muscle Skeletal. Many articles are not free, however. Check for them in the PABC eLibrary or contact your librarian. Here is a screenshot of an RCT found in Pedro. Low level laser is compared with placebo for tennis elbow. Pedro assigns a method score of 8 out of 10 using their criteria for determining the quality of an RCT. You can find it above in the method score area, circled in red. It's important to note that not all RCTs are of equal methodological quality. Pedro uses a tool to evaluate the quality of an RCT and assign it a rating between 1 and 10, with 10 being the highest quality but this is only one of several ways to assess the quality of an RCT. You will recall in Pedro that you will only find RCTs, systematic reviews, and meta-analyses and guidelines, that is, the highest levels of research evidence. 
If the highest level of evidence available to you is case studies or animal research, or even general narrative reviews, for example, it is best to search databases like PubMed, Medline, or CINAHL. Unfortunately, Pedro does not have a sophisticated search interface, so use it for simple, quick, and dirty searches. When you need to do a more complex search, or when you need to see more levels of evidence, or if you can't find anything in Pedro, you can use PubMed or Medline and other larger databases. Thanks for watching. Please check our other tutorials available through our YouTube channel and website.